Trinitotal Health family, welcome back to another vlog on Trinitotal Health with your nurse and entrepreneur Adriana. So guys, you remember my Shein haul? My Shein haul, I purchased this dispenser, which is a soap dispenser, and I paid $4 for it. Don't mind the noises you're hearing, back we're mining chickens, yes, yeah, so. I didn't want to actually have to show you guys how big those chickens are, but yeah, anyhow. So this is the dispenser that I wanted to put in the kitchen. So I'm going to add it to the wall there now, the back to back. And let me see if it works. The reviews were really good on this. And you see how it's clear? This is what it is in style right now. So let's see if it actually works. It's nice and cute. $4 US in bag, right? So I'm going to set it up to the wall now. okay guys so it's on the wall right now now i also bought some double-sided tape but seeing that it had a sticker on it i'm using that for a while so in case that started to, started to like go out and it's not sticking to the to the tiles no more i'll use the double-sided tape but yeah guys it's on the wall so i'm so super excited about it Getting your home aesthetic, really nice. So let's give it a quick test. See how it's working. If it's working at all. And you had to pump it because it's new, right? But you're getting just enough. Yep, working. And it will encourage you to use less soap because once you're using it straight from there, you will need to use plenty soap. So that was a good purchase for four dollars US. Right. So what I'm going to do now is put the other squeezy or quick in the storage and leave that there so we can always top up when we're ready. But yeah, that's the perfect height. Like not too high. Cause I'm short, I'm 5'1", in case you were wondering, I'm really short, so this is just enough height for me. 
and everybody else will be too, so it should be okay. <laughs> so that's that. I'm gonna clean up here and then get on to my other project. Before I go, remember the bottle I showed you all from the Shein haul that I said we could use for the oil. We're already using it, and this is how it looks real sleek. And when you press, you're not using plenty oil. So I love this. Really sleek bottle, and you can have it right next to your stove. Really nice. Okay, guys, so we're about to start the next project. Remember this I bought from Shein. And I told you guys this is great for your toothpaste and toothbrushes. So we're gonna try this now. And this I actually paid three dollars and fifty cents US. So let's see if it's worth the hype. The reviews was good on this. So hopefully it stays on the wall. I see it has a sticky portion here. If you can see that. So I'll just have to remove the other side. It will be like this. So let me see if the toothpaste is fitting in this. This is the toothpaste here. I think I have to unscrew it because there's a hole inside here. Right? So I will have to unscrew. But let me see if it works just like that. Hmm. Okay guys, the struggle was real trying to figure out how to get this to work but you have to open the front of it to get the toothpaste in proper properly from the top, right? That's what I'm doing. You gotta get the toothpaste all the way down twist it in right so that is for sure inside I am squeezing some in it okay to pull up the chamber and now I'm gonna put back the front of the entire thing This is not there now. So now I'm wiping the surface where I want to place this. I'm thinking right here is a good level just before the joining of the tile. So make sure I wipe it and clean it first. I'm going to remove the other side of the sticker. This is like a jelly-like sticker, so it will be clear. Alright, so that's all. And we're gonna stick it right here. Right here. Press Now, let's really test this out to see if it's working, right? So I have the toothbrushes. I have a holder underneath to put the toothbrush, right? And just leave the toothbrush hanging there, like that. So the, tooth, the toothbrush is hanging here. This is my toothbrush, that's my sister's toothbrush. So let me see if it will actually dispense the toothpaste, right? That's the whole point of me purchasing this. Okay. Let's see. Do I need to pump it somewhere? Okay, guys. I think I need to squeeze some inside. Okay. And we're getting two things directly from it. So that's good. 
So what you need to do is make sure and dispense some in the cartridge inside so it will continuously be going. But yeah guys, more aesthetic pleasing things for your home. Okay, Trinity Total Health Family. So I, I wonder if you remembered when I purchased this from Fair and Square. It's a spice rack. The color is actually silver. It have a plastic on this to take out, but I want to actually start making my own spice collection with different spices that I would like to use and try. So I purchased some yesterday in the supermarket from Passad and JT. So I have a lot of spices here in this bag. Got onion powder, garlic powder, all pepper seasoning, black pepper, chili flakes, and a whole lot more, right? But I don't have the label, so when I come back from work, I'll do a DIY. I'm actually going to print the labels for the covers so like when you're spinning these spices you're seeing the name on the covers rather than on the bottle itself because the, the bottle will be hidden inside so you want to be able to see all the different spices so I think I'll make it small enough to fit on the covers so I'm going to print that out and I will stick it and fill it later when I come back from work And decorate really nice. Yeah, I'm trying not to walk with you. Okay guys, so I'm back home from work, so I end up going to a printing place not too far from my me and I got the labels printed out. I did the labels using Canva and you just type up labels and you type in all the different bottle stuff that you need to label and put it on it. So these are the bottles. So what I'm going to do is take off the plastic from the top and put the label and then fill all the spices in the bottles.
okay just checking in with you guys so these are the spice jars so far when i stick on the labels i did about 10 labels so far and i have like 20 more but i don't have like spices to fill every single one what i would say is that certain brands the amount of spice you get in the pack is not much like looking at this it's, it's not even full to the brim so that's something i had to remember for the other time but like certain brands as you could see the jerk seasoning is full to the top so yeah guys coming along okay guys so this is the spice rack so far did the majority as you could see yeah those are empty i need more spices so i will fill that up another time I'm loving the spice rack. Okay, guys, if it is you enjoyed today's vlog, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any time that I'm posting. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.